What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Deontay Burton, aka Mr. Short Dog himself. Listen, everybody's been reaching out to me, asking me questions about what's an NFT or a non-fungible token. People have a lot of different questions about it because they've seen different people making a lot of money uh, purchasing these uh, different items, be it digital art, music, film, seeing certain people in different industries, being like especially hip hop artists, different actors, purchasing these items are having different conflicts or successes with NFTs. Is and people just saying, hey D, can you just make a video? To explain exactly what the NFT is. I know there have been a couple of videos out there already, but it's by far probably easy to understand because I'm doing it what? The short dollar way. Before we get started with everything, again, I am Deontay Burton, aka Mr. Short Dollar himself. Remember on my YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar, we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, business, and investing. Uh, to always stay abreast of all the information we got on Mr. Short Dollar, where we have a uh, grant playlist with uh, over 100 different grants listed, plus over 300 videos on the YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar, uploading vehicle, I'm a lot of vehicle, <laughs> videos on a weekly basis. Either way, stay abreast uh, and stay updated on all the great information we have currently. And uh, coming down the pipe, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right-hand corner and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications each time we upload a new video. Let's get back to where we was at. Okay, again, we're talking about NFTs and non-fungible tokens. Now, I know you guys remember uh, back on uh, June 22nd, a uh, New York judge ruled in favor of Jay-Z to stop ex Rockefeller CEO Damon Dash from selling the NFT-related reason without and his one-third ownership of the record label. Pretty much what was happening, Damon Dash was looking to sell uh, a portion of reason without that he is a part of owner in uh, on a, for an NFT. And, you know, JC uh, put a block on it with that. So, yeah, a lot of people creating a lot of buzz. What the hell is an NFT? What's going on there? Why would he be able to do that? And it was just he was uh, looking to sell a digital portion of that particular album. So that's where you had a whole a, a lot of buzz coming in, especially from the hip hop community, different fans. What exactly is it? It's not a new item, but you've had a lot of growth as far as the information regarding NFTs, well, especially the popularity of it. Uh, with this year, especially you had a lot of different uh, artwork that have been going crazy selling um, uh, for, for NFTs. But again, by definition, let's go here. And listen, guys, I don't want you guys to get scared when you see this. This is a definition for NFTs. I'm going to read this, but also going to explain to you in English or the short dollar way afterwards. Okay, so don't get <laughs> thrown off track when I uh, read this definition to you. I'm going to give a great explanation, get, also give you some examples of NFTs. And again, by definition, the NFT is a non-fungible token. It is used uh, as a unit of data stored on, a di stored on a digital ledger called a blockchain that certifies a digital asset to be unique and therefore not interchangeable. NFTs can be used to represent items such as photos, videos, audio, and other types of digital files. Access to any copy of the original file, however, is not restricted to the buyer of the NFT. While copies of these digital items are available for anyone to obtain, NFTs are tracked on blockchains to provide the owner with a proof of ownership that is separate from copyright. And in a nutshell, what that means is that you're buying a digital piece of a certain item, that being a, a photo, film, video, and it is a unique piece of each item, okay? It is not the same one. Whatever you get of that particular item, no one else can get. It's done in blockchain technology. So everything is digital. And it's also verifiable uh, because it is done uh, through the blockchain, okay? I know it kind of maybe still a little you know, far-fetching with some people that isn't familiar with uh, cryptocurrency or digital anything digital or dealing with blockchain. But in essence, you're buying a piece of something that is totally authentic and no one else in the universe will have a piece of it, which makes it more rare and more precious, okay? And also more expensive, okay? To give you some quick examples where we start talking about, you know, uh, non-fungible tokens. And in essence, something that's fungible is something that can be exchanged uh, with something of equal or identical value, okay? Something non-fungible can be uh, cannot be exchanged. You can exchange the items, but they're not the same things that, that, that can be exchanged. Okay, so let me give you an example. If you have a $1 bill, that $1 bill can be exchanged for an, uh, another uh, $1 bill. And we're looking at fungible assets, and down here we're looking at non-fungible assets. Again, that $1 bill can be exchanged for another $1 bill. You have gold bricks here that can be exchanged, coins can be exchanged, because again, you have the same things that are also can be exchanged for it. Same thing with Bitcoin, Visa, credit card, all these items that can be exchanged for something that is identical to it. A dollar for a dollar, uh, a gold bar for a gold bar, a quarter for a quarter, okay? 
we go to a non-fungible, we start uh, exchanging, you, you're exchanging things that won't necessarily be the same. You can get an artwork, an artwork that might be copied, but it doesn't necessarily have the same value. Same thing with a home. On the digital side, when you see these items here, you know, you're looking at certain certificates, films, and um, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> that one picture is, I'm sorry about that, but it can have the exact same exchange on it. So when you're looking at examples, just like if you have something that's non-fungible, that can be exchanged, that's one thing with a dollar, a dollar that is uh, torn or ripped, it won't have the same thing. Just like if you have maybe like a, a shirt, a shirt, um, a jersey, can be exchanged for another jersey making it fungible, but a jersey that has been autographed is no longer fungible because it has been autographed, okay? A couple more examples. We started talking about NFTs. You have two, uh, two soda cans right here. Those two cans can be exchanged for each other. So it's just like the same thing with our gold bar, $5 for $5, shirt for shirts, right? Remember what I said, what, what changes the thing to make the shirts? Non-fungible, right? One, one of them uh, may have been autographed. Another may have been worn in a game. That soda can may have had a signature or autograph on it, or it may have someone has drunk out of it where they may add some kind of value to it. That's what changes. Someone may have endorsed, put an endorsement or, or autograph on that $5 bill. Now it's no longer non-fungible. Just like you see the example here of a non-fungible, you have a car for a, uh, a rugby player and then another car for a soccer player. They're not identical. You can't exchange exchange for it because they're two whole different sports. Here are some more examples of actual real real uh, uh, NFTs. There are some examples of some digital arts that go here. And when, it, when these items are sold, they're selling a piece of this digital art, not just this one picture, but it, this may be broken into millions of different pieces and you're buying a unique piece of this particular uh, uh, piece of art. Same thing, this is an actual film that was uh, set up with the NFT, Zero Context on Anthony Hopkins. This, uh, this actually was sold the NFT, so you have pieces of the digital film was sold. Right here we see Rob Bronkowski's football card, this digital art was, sold, was also made an NFT and it was broke up the same way that we just talked about and you're actually getting a unique piece of this particular card, okay? Okay, so we started talking about, you know, purchase NFT, how do I get involved? Pretty much what you have here, different auction platforms or NFT marketplace. It's just a few of them. One of the main, or in some of the most popular ones being OpenSea, Rarible, or Superware. Yes, yeah, so how do I get involved? One way to get involved, first you go to one of those past platforms we just looked at, like OpenSea or SuperRare, open account, find the account, and then go to one of the auctions uh, and purchase an NFT. Pretty simple, extremely simple to go through it, okay? You have a lot of accessibility if you want to get started into it, guys. Here's some pros and cons of getting involved with NFT. Some of the pros, that pros are non-fungible tokens make it easy to buy and sell digital media online. Like I said, the accessibility is there. These tokens use the blockchain to make it easy to verify authentic artwork and digital ownership. Like I said, um, you want to worry about just if you buy a physical painting, you know, it being a, a, a fake or anything like that. This using blockchain te technology, you can authenticate uh, um, the item you're getting because everything is digital. NFTs can make collectibles like trading costs more interactive and engaging. Some of the cons or reservations about using the NFTs is the NFT craze have made prices for some collectibles extremely expensive. And that may hold your value, that, it, that may not necessarily hold value for a long time, okay? So you really don't know. Um, because it is new, that the value may go up. So you may buy something super high right now because everybody interested in it, and it may go down. So you really just don't know right now because it, it is a fairly new concept. Another kind, if you don't store your NFT safely, they may be at risk for being hacked in a similar way, of, like other cryptocurrencies. So you got to be very careful how you're doing this. Uh, they're still building systems in there to protect uh, the blockchain, blockchain technology. So these just things to be kind of aware of. I'm not saying don't do it, but just be aware of it, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that example uh, of what NF, the, or what NFT, the definition of an NFT or non-fungible token, the short dollar way. Uh, for more great information just like this and other videos uh, similar to the one we just discussed, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar, subscribe to the channel, and best of luck with you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.